Disney has been hit, and I'm not going to say you had anything to do with this, Alan. But I'll take credit for it. Disney was hit with a federal discrimination lawsuit over their DEI rules. Um, if you could bring up the story. Yes. You had it for a second. Um, Alan has been doing an investigation. I'm sure you all know. Maybe that's why, how you discovered the channel. That um, Alan started doing a series of stories that came from his review of Wish. Look up the, rev Al the initial review Alan did of Wish. Really pointing out like, wow, Disney animation is really diminished in quality. So what happened? And as Alan began to do the investigation, you'll see from the very first um, article in, in the Files series that it started with the ousting of John Lasseter over Me Too charges mm -hmm. and the, how that may have been trumped up, which led to the hiring of a lot of people through, of all places, of all places, they came from Reddit and, and Tumblr. And Tumblr. And, the, the, and and brought in a lot of new blood into Disney whose goal was to just get rid of certain types of people. Alan, if you could scroll up to the headline. Well, let's story. just say a, a certain type of people. <laughs> Not... so if you could scroll up to the title for this story. Yeah. Well, that is, this... the, that is the title here. No, no. It says, I can't see the whole like, story. Like, that, I can't go up further anymore. Oh. It's Elon Musk tweets out racist, sexist. Uh, lot, uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, why don't you just talk about it while I look it up for you? Yeah, here we go. Sorry, here it is. Uh, Disney okay. hit with federal civil rights complaint over DEI alleges discrimination against white men, Christians, and Jews. And of course, uh, McAfee uh, says that this is a uh, suspicious site. Uh, from my from my cousin David Ng, I don't know who that is. Uh, the Walt Disney Company has been hit with a federal civil rights complaint alleging the company's DEI policies are unlawful and discriminate against white American men, Christians, and Jews. America First Legal filed the complaint against Disney on Wednesday. The group cited pu publicly uh, available documents. You, yeah, pu okay, there you go. Just, just read your story. It's the same thing. It's, it's, it's gone oh, okay. over the web service, so it's everywhere. But this is yeah. from the Daily Mail. Yeah, so uh, America First Legal filed a complaint Wednesday. Group cited publicly available documents published on Disney's official website, as well as leaked internal documents showing how executives have made diversity, equity, and inclusion a central part of Disney's hiring practices. Uh, let's see. Uh, Stephen Miller from America Legal First says it is sad and tragic that a company whose name once was once synonymous with wholesome and charming childhood fantasies is now dedicated to spreading divisive bigotry. Uh, we urge Disney to cease and desist all, uh, cease and desist its unlawful and destructive conduct at once. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they, they cite uh, the implementation of de facto quotas in its hiring, which violates uh, employee law. Uh, quotas are disguised as diversity and equity policies. Uh, but in some cases, uh, pu Disney has publicly listed actual percentages in which uh, when it comes to hiring its for its uh, productions. So those are quotas. 50% uh, of TV uh, series directors must come from upper, unrepresented groups. Well, all, all, all I can say is this. This is directly ties into your defile story that, that you've exposed how this crept in like a cancer at the company. So um, it's crazy. The timing of this, this happened yesterday, but it also ties in with, you know, Elon Musk tweeted us out. Um, I'll show you that. Um, a lot of people noticed that um, Elon, Elon actually tweeted out a video from Film Threat, which was, which was actually pretty cool. Tweeted out our video on the Amazon Studios new DEI rules. So um, the great thing is Elon Musk got to see you doing a terrible a stereotypical Asian accent while reading some of the DEI restrictions. Yes. Rules. I'm but, very proud of that. 
it was just this came out of the blue it kind of sucks he didn't tag us he didn't tag film threat or myself or alan but you know i'm not beggars can't be choosers not complaining. <laughs> thank you elon for noticing us and thank you we appreciate it um i feel like robert wool's character in batman 89 um hey can i can i can i have a grant can i have a grant Remember how Robert Wills came? Okay, yeah. only I remember yeah. this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that moment stood out to you. <laughs> like, yeah, can I have a grant? Mr. Wayne, can I have a grant? And, and then he says, oh, give him a grant, like just to get him to go away. Anyway, so um, it's just interesting how all this stuff is coming to a head. Now, we went through uh, Amazon's rules. Uh, Disney's is right on the website, and Elon mm -hmm. tweeted that out. It wasn't exactly you know, this like hidden thing, they're doing all of this out in the open. The, the, in, the thing is, is that the only way any of this stuff changes is if people in the industry speak out, you have to speak out, you have to speak out about this stuff. Okay. So, so we're going to keep uh, the D files. Part four is going to come out before you go to South by Southwest. That's going to be a lot of fun. Alan, I will talk about that. I may be making a trip out there with you. We'll see how yeah. things work out. Thank <laughs> you.